how I can eat. Almost two hours after this 100 free pieces of sushi, new meal with rice. Answer is uh, ultra short acting insulin. I did 50 units. I don't recommend you to do this amount because it's dangerous. You can die, but I did it. Bodybuilding is probably one of the only sports that's tainted with death, unlike any other sport in United States or worldwide history. And it's a really unfortunate thing because the people who do bodybuilding often have really good hearts and great intentions, but it just ends up going the wrong way. A lot of us can assume why this might be drugs, food, and a not so great lifestyle on top of already not so great habits and a addictive personality to tie it all together. It's actually a really unfortunate situation for the people who are amazing in this sport and really do their best to be great people. So I make this video in a way that's not meant to besmirch anyone or hurt anyone's feelings or say that anyone was wrong or they killed themselves or anything like this. The entire point of this video is just to point out to you the risks of living a specific kind of lifestyle within bodybuilding and point out some obvious ignored flaws within a lot of bodybuilders as well as fitness influencers and then also point out the obvious solutions. Ilya Gollum passed away at 36 years old. This is pretty unfortunate. He's very young and very, very, very big. Unfortunately, I think those two things didn't work well together. He was known for being an absolute mass monster. At the time of death, he was 348 pounds at six feet tall. One of the biggest human beings there is out there considering he was mostly muscle mass. But it's quick to see that most people are not surprised by his death. Ilya Gollum was a athlete with 5% nutrition, a company started by someone who was notoriously unhealthy and we've also discussed many times on this channel and to be honest a contorious history of sponsoring athletes that aren't very healthy in the first place. Ilya did his best to maintain the appearance that the company desired which was mutant like human beings larger than life people that were more spectacles to look at than anything impressive. He tried to embody the rich Piana kind of life where he looked extremely big had massive arms and did a lot to maintain those massive arms, including injecting oil locally and all over his body to create a larger outward appearance. Now, as you can see in the comments here on Reddit, just alone, people are pretty much not surprised. First comment, that's senior citizen in bodybuilding years. The cause has not been released. I guess we'll never know. He was really sick on his last video uploaded on antibiotics and stuff, basically years of abuse of SEO. Just like Piana, his kidneys and liver were severely damaged from all the oils dispersing through his body which I do agree with. I think that there was a lot of a use and abuse of oils within his body. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what SEO means in bodybuilding, that is site enhancement oil. And literally what bodybuilders will do is inject oil locally within muscles to make them look bigger or rounder. You've probably seen people who look like this on social media platforms with ridiculously bubbly arms that are almost looking as if they're infected and about to pop chests just weird muscle bellies and this is a result of injecting oils into your skin these people do it far far too much but Ilya did it in a capacity that made him still look very good and didn't necessarily shine through that he was abusing SEO and so a lot of people probably didn't even realize it unless you were close up to the guy the first comment here as well huh a thread where bodybuilder dies before 50 and the comments aren't full of people saying it could be completely completely unrelated. Next one, did anyone not see this coming? We really need to start discussing mental health crises in the bodybuilding community. Playing a dangerous game with all this sight enhancement. Too bad it took his life. 36 is way too young. Condolences to friends and family. This really sucks, but there were also few people riding on a knife's edge as much as this guy was. So you get the point. Most people sort of saw this coming. Now, Ilya Gollum had a quest to be 400 pounds. He mentioned this a lot of the times and his inspiration was early bodybuilders, but then it turned into something completely different once he got hired by 5% Nutrition and started to pursue the mutant look. On this pursuit, he was notoriously eating calories of upwards of 15,000 per day to achieve this result. 
course, he wouldn't do this every day. It would be consistently for several weeks at a time, and then he'd have several weeks where he was eating less calories, but he would cycle his calories in order to get to a weight that he could sustain that was extremely heavy. This obviously is not good. Eating a hypercaloric diet is very notably not healthy for most people. In a hypercaloric diet, there's a lot more oxidative stress. You can see people's skin age a lot quicker, and oftentimes this is where you see people's blood work get the least healthiest that it probably could be. This is honestly for so many reasons, but one of the primary reasons is high circulating insulin levels. And then on top of this, just high inflammatory responses from digesting the food as the food we eat is sort of an invasive particle that we're trying to process into nutrients. It's not necessarily an easy task to do. So the more that your body has to do of it, the more inflammatory response there generally is. So this compiled with taking a copious amount of androgens and various other peptides, I'm sure. And I could go through my expectations in terms of what I think he was probably running for steroids and performance enhancing drugs, but I am sure all of you could be very well aware what these things would look like. You are going to see the common accusers here, trenbolone, testosterone, growth hormone, insulin, IGF-1, and probably many, many more. But what was it that actually killed Ilya? This is a very convoluted and hard question to answer. And I'm sure it's quite easy to answer in terms of the reason he had died was probably because of an excess amount of weight for a very long time. Extremely notably on his videos, he had a hard time breathing. It was worse than Sam Selleck. So weight combined with an abusive amount of anabolic steroids combined with a, an abusive amount of SEO site enhancement oil, where that oil oil has to go somewhere and it's broken down into your blood and then obviously circulated through your circulatory system and then those lipids generally don't do very good in terms of your cardiovascular health. Over years and years and years, even just a decade, can kill someone very easily, especially, again, eating this much food and being that weight. So it's not a matter of necessarily what killed him, but it's more of a matter of what was the final string that broke the camel's back. In this case, it certainly was probably something cardiovascularly related and a CVD event, no doubt. I, I'm almost sure of this, but we won't exactly know the details as it's not been released. My whole point with this video, though, like I said, is to give you kind of a cue into what would have caused this. And it's a very simple answer, and you might have already came to it by now, as my audience is pretty intelligent, to be honest. The thing was the excessive weight, the drugs, the SEO. The, the, the psychology behind it, I think, is the most important part. The desire to be so big, larger than life, to get this sort of infamy off of being huge and to build your ego around being the huge person is what was really the cause of death. You see, when someone builds their ego around going to the gym and being huge, it makes that person almost impossible to pull away from that environment. And specifically, if that environment and behavioral trait includes includes steroids, it is almost impossible to get them to stop because the only thing they know and the only thing that they can identify themselves with is the use and abuse of anabolic steroids, is eating copious amounts of food, is literally being a bodybuilder who never competes. What is the most concerning trait about all of this is that he probably knew he should stop. He probably knew many times over that he should stop, but unfortunately he hasn't. He never did, and this was what led to his death. He downsized 50 pounds, stopped eating as much calories, and certainly stopped doing as much drugs. He likely would have lived a lot longer, but it is that toxic mentality that a lot of bodybuilders and fitness influencers adopt that led to his death. The one singular component of his life that was so important and most paramount was to get as big as humanly possible, and he had sculpted his entire social media presence, personality, and existence around that one concept. And so, if you don't want to end up like this, someone who's 30 years old and passing away, which I certainly don't and I can imagine most of you do not, is you can't just chase size. You can't just chase the ego of being the big guy. You have to diversify your life. And I understand bodybuilding is sort of one of the all-consuming things, and especially being a fitness influencer arguably is more consuming. You have to step away from those things every once in a while. Travel the world, read books, take up new hobbies, because those things can pull you away or at least give you a bridge 
to step away easily from something that you're so bound to so that when it does come time for you to drop the 3cc syringe down and just stick with trt you can do so without being so psychologically wrapped up in the concept of being the big guy and one of the notorious horrible traits that i see so many bodybuilders go through as i'm coaching them is the dependency on bodybuilding for their well-being they had a bad training session their day is ruined if they have a bad prep for a show their year is ruined if they had a bad weekend and they didn't get to get their meals in their next week is ruined they literally leverage everything about their well-being on the bodybuilding that they do but life is so much broader than that it is way more broad than that and if you can take a step outside of the little box that you frame around yourself for safety and protection no doubt you'll be able to see that the world is a lot more expansive and has much more for you to do than you might think there's this video that hasn't aged well i'm actually going to be doing a very big breakdown video on godis here soon so stay tuned for that but if you guys haven't seen this guy on youtube he is wild he uh he posted this video three years ago saying on the thumbnail how to die before you're 40 basically and man it didn't age well because this literally just happened hey everyone as requested i'm going to review what a so-called bodybuilder eats in a day the golem monster diet hello guys today i'll make a video of my whole day eating and uh, my first meal is oh i haven't seen this i just clicked play just now okay i promise within the next 20 seconds he's gonna say what are these tumors all over his body or something like that something about tumors and then two this man's eating slave food i guarantee you those are the just watch i i have not watched this fingers crossed i've not watched this i swear to god look at this 300 grams this is the same kind of mental illness as a woman who gets breast implants. Nobody finds you attractive, you look deformed, and you only do it because you're insecure. Of all every morning. Okay, let's cook it. My first meal, oh, 300 grams of oats, my pre-workout meal. Let's start eating. And also for taste, I add my fruits, sweetener, as you see. Oh yeah, I look like one big tumor, I eat peasant food, indigestible fiber, you're simply going to excrete it. This simply shows how stupid bodybuilders are. Stop eating oats. Sushi. Probably Jarring. some farm garbage. The main In a way, he looks sicker than rates. a vegan. Okay, if he thinks he needs carbs, then he needs carbs. Whatever, but uh, why this obsession with grains? You guys have been completely brainwashed to believe that eating grains is the way to get carbs, sugar, even though fruit is so incredibly superior to this, making your intestines all sticky with the gluten, and it's in every grain out there. Yeah, so uh, that guy's fucking ludicrous. I'm really excited to make a video about him, but you understand what I'm trying to say. His lifestyle was not healthy, his habits of drug use was not healthy, and his obsession, most importantly, with being a massive human being was not healthy. Being a massive human being for a sport is one thing, and understanding that there's a finite amount of time that you can be a massive human being is absolutely critical. But understanding that there is a finite amount of time that you could be massive is this whole entire problem people do not understand that their body cannot sustain body weights above average for very long at a healthy rate and thus we have people dying if you like this video comment down below and subscribe or tell me if you didn't like this video down below because i'll actually experience some discourse with you and can improve my videos based on your feedback we also have a Discord group. Highly recommend you check it out down below. We talk about stuff like this all of the time, and I try to give you as much insight as well as many other coaches in the group on how to be a better bodybuilder, fitness influencer, and all of the like. And if nothing else, just click one of these videos here. They are super helpful when it comes to boosting the algorithm presence. Just keep watching my videos and consume and consume and consume.